Hey, I'm here at the uh, European Astronaut Center together with uh, Elizabeth, one of our astronaut trainers. There's less than six months now until launch. Uh, I'm still doing a lot of training on Soyuz and Space Station, uh, but now the training is also getting more focused on some of the experiments that I'll actually be doing in space on board the uh, International Space Station. Uh, a lot of the work that we do is focused on human physiology, uh, not only to understand what happens to the astronauts in space, but also how that uh, applies to humans here on Earth. And one of the uh, really interesting experiments that I'll be uh, working with involves endothelium cells. And that's what I'm uh, here with Elizabeth today. I'm gonna learn some more about that in the actual uh, experiment. So endothelium cells are cells that are lining all your cardiovascular vessels. So they are somehow the barrier between blood and the tissue. And that location, they have a very variety of functions. Most important ones is the filter function. So the endothelium serves as a gatekeeper. So it decides which of the substances are allowed to travel from the blood to the tissue or the other way around. So specifically, what are we going to be looking at during uh, this experiment in space? So basically the scientists are looking at different things. One of that is the cell cycle. So they want to understand if there are differences in how cells will divide in space compared to on ground? In space compared to on ground. And they're also looking at the, at the products of a cell. For example, uh, usually cells produce proteins and I want to see if that changes on board. If different proteins are produced or if the production pathway is different. So if different genes are used as a recipe for the same kind of protein. So do the genes express themselves differently in weightlessness compared to ground? Exactly. And to do this, we'll be using Cubic, which is a uh, standalone payload that we can deploy in Columbus. And uh, do you want to show us? So Cubic is an incubator, so you can warm up the interior or you can cool it down, depending on what you need. Since we are using human cells, we want to have body temperature, so we will heat it up to 37 centigrade. And it also has a centrifuge, right? There's a centrifuge in there so that we can have a 1G reference. And that kind of functions as a, as a control, so we can see how weightlessness affects it and compare it to, to samples that are not weightless. Exactly. That's and the samples are, the, are, are in these small containers you have here. So each container will have the endothelial cells yes. already with all the uh, fixatives and the, the culture medium that they will be growing in. Exactly. So in here we have the cells and everything that they need to survive and that later on to be fixated or transported around. All right. And those equipment containers will go into, the, uh, into cubic. They either go on static positions, like these ones, or they will sit on the centrifuge, and then they can be rotated. All right, to mimic a 1G environment. Exactly. All right, well, I'm looking forward to performing this experiment. It should be interesting. Hopefully, we'll get some good results. Yeah, I hope so as well. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Elizabeth. Anytime.